like with the layout and everything. Um, but yeah, Lint, really solid Falco uh, against Claps. Both of these guys are on the New England PR. And in yeah, I think uh, Claps is what, like number six? Claps oh. is not six. No, so no, no. that's crunch. Um, I think Lint is 10. 10, yeah. And Claps is a, a, around that same area. Yeah. I, I can't remember if he's above or below. That's gonna be fun. I mean, like, I think Claps is above. Claps is like, like slightly like, above, like eight somewhere. or nine, I think. I can do that. But I, I swear, like, <laughs> when you, when you're out there like playing, it doesn't really feel like it. Because these guys are like exactly the same level. Right. These guys played at Bus Three uh, about a year and a half ago. It's been so long since Bus Three. It's kind of sad. But yeah. at the same time, we got Shine, and then, you know, we have this. But anyway, they played at Bus, and. I'm pretty sure Claps won that set. Um, not sure how many times they've played since then. Uh, they That was like the beginning of kind of a rivalry back then, because that wasn't their first set at the time. Uh, I remember they had played at a hog, and it definitely has gone kind of back and forth. Uh, on paper, everyone likes to think that Falco beats Falcon. Um, I agree with that sentiment. I think Gatsu is on record saying he thinks Falcon wins if you are good at power shielding. Oh, yeah, uh, I mean, I think in general, Falco has a harder, harder time with somebody that's power shielding everything. Yeah, so. yeah, that's definitely true. Um, Falcon just has a death touch on Falco, like, at any percent. And um, Falco can combo the shit out of Falcon. Yeah. But... <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, he still gets that. Oh, my nice. God. <laughs> nice. Good selection there, um, because he knew that there, were, there was enough hits done off the up there to get the knee. That was just a, a crazy Raptor boost. I did not think it would land that at all. But yeah, it's kind of... I think I know that, like, Claps is looking to punish those second places, but it's like, I don't know. Lin has, like, this micro DI, I think, that's just, like, getting him, like, saving him by the bell, essentially. Uh-huh. I like the um, side B edge cancel. That is now an option that has been put on the table. Claps needs to be aware of it. Yeah. I'm sure he'll, he'll eventually end up adapting. Claps, I mean, for those who don't know, it's like he's really good at adapting. He is the a adaptation master. Yeah. Like, I remember recently uh, Bonfire beat him in winner's finals of a, of a tournament, and then in losers, Claps just bodied him. Yeah. Like, he, he definitely is one to pay attention to your habits. And I mean, like, uh, to to Claps' credit, it's like I really feel like it's, a lot, of his, a lot of his, like, mentality when it comes to this game, I feel like he's like, just unfazed. Like, you can see him in, in the player camp. He seems, like, untouched by anything. Yeah, man. In general, like, never mind just melee. I, I think with Claps, it's, like, his his lack of getting phased in life, just in general, like, kind of shows itself in melee. Yeah. Because he is definitely, like, a steady, wise, um, just, I don't know, <laughs> dude. Like <laughs> He's just a, he's just a, a sage. Oh my god, that knee felt unfair. And now he's got this follow up. Can he steal it? I like the edge cancel back here. That's gonna be oh, it. That's it, yeah. Oh my god. Damn, man. Damn. That looked good. Oh and I, god, gar dude. I guarantee you, Lint is not used to this type of Falcon. A, a Falcon that'll put on a show. And it's like, it makes you, he'll, he'll make you feel so dumb. I mean, like, he does, he will do that. You're, yeah. you're right about that. But he's not necessarily the Falcon to put on a show, necessarily. Like, Claps, I, I don't know. I mean, I love him. He's yeah. one of my best friends, and he's probably my favorite player from New England. Uh, but how he, do you think, how do you think his play style is? He's not, like, he's not flashy. He's not flashy? No. Nah. He's, he's very good. And like, like, like we said, he adapts. And I think some of his success comes from that more than it comes from like being like a crazy like I don't know just hype Falcon. Okay. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I can see that for like, sure. And I think that that lends itself to how I don't know. I was saying he's. Oh my God, he does it. He's he's steady, he's composed, and he doesn't get like phased. But he's not like crazy with like the combos and putting on a show. Yeah. He's That's, like, like he doesn't care to do that. He's all business. Yeah, exactly. I can see that for sure. Like he's taking these W's home to to his family and his girlfriend and like <laughs> he's just like he's, he's spread the wealth. And 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 to his uh, you know. Oh gosh. Okay. So if you're lit right now though, it's looking like you're kind of getting red. Just like constantly. Yeah. It's How do you kind of mix that up? Well you gotta do things differently than <laughs> how you've been doing them so far. Yeah. And that's just one that's one of the hardest things to do because like 
you think about playing Melee, like, Melee is as much a toy as it is a game. Okay. And that's, that's something that I think people need to really think about, because when you have something that's a toy, it's like, oh, I like this toy, this is fun. So you kind of wash, rinse, repeat the same bullshit yeah. because you're just playing the toy yeah. and, you're, and you're not playing against your opponent. Yeah. And that's why it's hard to change, like, all right, I'm getting bodied for this, I'm getting bodied for that. Um, if, you, if you're looking at it like a toy, then you don't really see it that way. You just see it as like, oh, this toy's not very like, nice to me right now. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, you know, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. That's an interesting perspective. I, I kind of like it. I think it's, I don't know, it's something that just kind of came to me one day. Because, did you ever play, uh, I'll, I'll say it after this, we got Lint with invincibility, <laughs> yeah. gets a shine to a shine back air, to a soft back air. This is all in off of his invincibility, but now Claps is back to neutral. I mean, Claps didn't seem to really get phased by that at all. Like, he kind of still was holding center. Yeah, I mean, he, I don't know if I'd say he was like holding center because he was getting hit. And, and what he what he did was DI the hits well, okay. so as to not lose his stock. Um, which again was like a, it was composed defense, wise defense. Yeah. Um, oh man. Oh, just lets it rip. Nice uh, short. Can he slow up the stock? And Claps is not overcommitting towards the ledge. Like if Lint wanted to short there and get ledge, Claps was cool with it. He has a percent lead slightly, and he knew he had stage. Oh, he does it again. Damn, man. And literally that entire time, for when Claps was okay with just having stage, yeah. Lint never got all the way in. Exactly. He was just trying to fight his way back in, but he got grabbed. He got uh, drops on need. And dude, that's hard to, yeah. to win on FD is hard, especially against Lin, because I think Lin is actually really good on FD. Yeah. Um, I remember Crush, this was after a Mass Madness, when Crush was kind of like swinging his dick around about how good he played that tournament. Yeah. He said the only person that took a game was Lin on FD in their like winner semi set or something like that. And um, I mean, that just goes to show like, and that's against Fox, who does very well on FD against Falco. Right. Falcon on FD against Falco, it's not quite the same. So the fact that Claps can, you know, take that game and, I don't know, just look so strong, it definitely, yeah. it speaks to his, his well, well, yeah, experience I, in the matchup. I, I really wanted to go, there was a, a point early on in the set where, uh, you know, you'd, you'd seen the last, the last time where Claps had gotten a down throw on Lynn off stage and go for the drop zone fair, uh -huh. drop zone knee. And uh, instead, this time he got it, but like this time just decided to go for a down angle forward tilt. Which yeah. like shows that he's thinking on that level of right. like, I know you're trying to get out of this, so I know exactly what's going to follow up and right. beat you. Luckily, he didn't, or, luckily for Lint, he didn't get that follow up, but it was still just like, Claps knows. It's the classic, I know that you know that I know. That I know, that, yeah. You know, and how many times do we know before someone yeah. just didn't know until now? Man, this is something like a clinic, though. Oh, like, dude, Claps covered the short in that his time. Head. And it was a non-committal coverage of the shortened as well, so I really like that from Claps because it was just a ledge hop there that did the job. And these nares from Claps, they seem almost dumb, but they're perfect. Yeah, like you really can't afford to get in a nair fight with Falco. Like yeah. Falco wins that. Yeah. So the, the fact that he's not like getting opened up for it. Seems like a missed opportunity by Lin. I do kind of think it's a missed opportunity by Lin. It means that he's not using his normals well enough, I guess. Like, I don't know. And by normals, I'm including aerials. But like, right, yeah. like up tilt, bear, dare, like those three things alone. You, but then when you also factor in like laser and dash dance grab, like Falcon's stuff is dash dance grabbable, even for a character like Falco. So when you have all those options, Okay, I really like how Lin's kind of changing his, his style up right now. I think he's definitely like playing kind of a more long game. Yeah, I'm and like, a little more like quote unquote lame, one might say. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you, you do what you got to do. Right, man. He's got to peck away to get that damage. And specifically, I think it's just like his laser game has gotten wow. uh, a little better. And like, I just find lasering like at times kind of lame. So that's why I used yeah. quote unquote lame. But I mean, it's good. But, I mean, it's one of the best projectiles in the game. Like so. we said before, oh, though, it. clap seems on face. He doesn't care. All right, that's, 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 that's not it because I forgot claps is a god. Yeah, <laughs> and, and he'll and he'll tech that all day. Um, laser, laser. Ooh. It's alive? Oh my Yo. god! This is, this is not looking good for Lin. 
kind of a like uh, dangerous decision that Lin made on the left side where he did a full hop laser laser laser. I thought he was only gonna do two and then like kind of just keep babysitting the, just the like the ledge area. But he, he did something that was kind of committal and ended up eating more damage and now we'll see if he can take a stock. He does. Okay. Definitely like pulling it back a little bit, not going for things off stage, just kind of like I have to maintain the more where I am right. positionally. Oh, oh that's it. Back here. Is that going to be it? Not enough. That's it. Not enough left for Lin to be able to do at that point. That's true. Because all like, if he um, if he didn't side B, I mean he got hit.